Okay, welcome back to the BSN channel. I'm going to introduce another Adinkra today. And this Adinkra symbolizes jealousy. It's called Fufu. Some people call it Fufu. I could be wrong. You know, I'm not the best with the pronunciation, but I'm good with the meanings. There's two proverbs associated with Fufu, which is a plant. It's actually a flowering plant. And the reason why they use it for jealousy is because the the proverb that I remember, if I can remember, is the Janantri wishes. No, 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 no. I said that wrong. The fufu plant wishes that the Janantri Janantri seeds would turn black, which is Senya Fufujia Penise Janantri Abobidie. I think I said that right. So the fufu plant wishes that the Janantri seeds would turn black. So it's jealous of the Janantri seeds. See, the Janantri plant is a nice flowering plant. It's very beautiful to look at, to be honest. It's very nice. So the Akan people use that plant as a symbolism of jealousy, envy. And today I want to break down jealousy and envy on how I see it, all right? So let, let's start with what jealousy and envy means. All right? People think it might mean the same thing. I thought it meant the same thing, but it's, there, there's a difference. It's like envy is more external. Jealousy is more internal. So for example, with envy, it involves two people. So say my friend has a toy that I want. That involves two people, right? So, he has something that I don't have. I want it. That's an external thing. He has something I want. That's one thing envy deals with. It deals with what you don't have. Jealousy deals with what you do have. Okay? So, when you envy someone, you envy that someone has something that you lack. When you're jealous of something, it's more to do with what you do have. And they involved three or more people. So, for example, you have a wife. And she has a male friend. That's the third party. That's the third person. She might go and spend more time with him. You might become jealous of him. Because it involves three people. You understand? The wife is what you have. With jealousy, you fear that you're going to lose something. But with envy and jealousy, they both deal with resentment but just in different ways. So with jealousy, you don't want to lose something. You're scared of losing something. So if we, if we look at the root of these words, the English words, for example, envy comes from the Latin word invidia. Invidia is the Roman name for the Greek god Nemesis. And that's a god dealing with vengeance and getting people back or you owe something, stuff like that. Nvidia relates to invidere, I, I might be wrong, which means to look upon. In fact, invidia means looking upon in Latin. And that's used in a negative context, in the sense that when you look upon something, you're gazing at it in an evil way, which relates to the evil eye. And the evil eye is destructive, because you're looking upon something in a destructive way. You're gazing at it. In a very bad way. You're not thinking anything positive. With jealousy. Jealousy. Goes back to the Greek word. Zelos. Which relates to zealous. Zealous means to have. You know. To strive for something. I don't know if I'm saying it right. To be eager. To be very eager to do something. See jealous and zealous. Come from the same root. They're like. Two sides of the same coin. For example. Zealous comes from Zealous, which is Greek, which is a Greek goddess of um, rivalry, jealousy, envy, um, zealousness, all, all that stuff. That's what it represents. It comes, if you look at the prefix of Zealous, which is Ze, Ze means to boil. So the Greeks believe that when you're jealous or zealous, it's a water within you that's boiling. That's why I say that jealousy is internal, 
rather than external. It starts from within. So zealous is the positive and jealous is the negative of that boiling, that internal boiling. There's my brother over there doing the folding. You cool, yeah? Yeah. So jealous, jealousy and zealousness, if I don't know if it's zealousness, they're two sides of the same coin. In my opinion, envy is more destructive. Because envy, you're looking at some... You're looking at something, you're looking at what someone else has that you don't have with envy. This is how I look at things, yeah? You're two, say you got two people. I believe that everyone has their own path, right? So you have your own path, and another guy has his own path. And you're off going in your own path. But one guy in another path is too busy looking at the other guy's path. And he wants to be in, on his path. But the reason why that's destructive is by the time you get to what he has or what you think he has that you haven't, he's moved on. By the time you get what you wanted, he's moved on because he was already on his own path. If you're too busy watching someone else's own path, you're destructing your own path. You have your own quality on this earth. So why are you going to go and watch what someone else is doing. That's why there's a slang term that um, people used to say in East London. It says, I don't watch face. Meaning, I don't watch what people do. Do what you do. So to me, envy is more self-destructive. Like you can hurt, you will hurt yourself in, in that way. That's just my opinion. You have two paths, independent, why should you be watching? If anything, you should, you should look at it in the sense that what can I learn from what he's done in his path and apply it to my own path? That's how you should really be thinking. And envy relates to the word invidious. Invidious means to like, to gaze upon someone very evil, in an evil way. Essentially, they come from the same stem or the same root. When it, when it comes to jealousy, in my opinion, jealousy is less destructive than envy. The reason why it's less destructive is because, as I said, with the root of jealousy and zealous, is it's a certain energy within you. That's why it says there's a boiling water within you that boils. It can be negative, it can be positive. But energy will make you do something. It gives you inspiration, gives you motivation. So through jealousy, you can better yourself. Or do bad. Rather with, with uh, envy, I can't see you doing any good for yourself. But see with jealousy, for example, your wife is spending more time. Remember, it involves three or more people. Your wife is spending more time with a third party that isn't you. Okay? Through jealousy, you might go to the gym just to get your wife to be with you more. You might end up trying to get a promotion. Like, you see what I'm saying? It's... It's a certain energy that's going to make you do something. So, my opinion is, jealousy is bad, but it's not as self-destructive as envy. Because jealousy relates to being zealous, but it's better for you to be zealous. And I say it's probably better for you to be jealous than to be envious. So... I think there's another proverb to do with the fufu plant. I think it, it more does deals with the the the, the demise. Oh, that's hard to say. The demise of the fufu plant, cause it's too busy looking at the other plant. It leads to its own self destruction. So everyone has its own path. Like for example, why would you look at what someone else has? I'm dealing with envy here because I feel like envy is the worst. It's more worse. Jealousy can inspire you to do things. Though it's not as good as being zealous. But for me, envy, why would you look at what someone else is doing? It doesn't make sense. This means everyone was born on this earth to be special, unique. If everyone is doing the same thing because they're looking at another person, there will be no one unique. The world wouldn't run around. Like, imagine a house, yeah, 
but all the rooms are jealous of the bathroom. So every room turns into a bathroom. How can you have a house that only has bathrooms? Like everything was born in its own place, in its own position to grow to its own special region or position. We're not all made to do the same things. So I'm gonna end it there. So if, if you think you may be jealous, try and change that into being zealous. Try and admire, then be resentful. Because it's a negative energy and it will only surround you by other negative people for you to do negative things. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope it wasn't too long. If you like, like. If you dislike, dislike. And you haven't already, please subscribe. Peace.